so recently Angry Joe posted a video review of uh, Divinity Dragon Commander. You know, he spent, you know, like a good 25 minutes, you know, talking about the game, explaining its systems, what works, what doesn't. He, you know, pretty much did his job, which is review the game. And then when I scroll down to the comments, I just saw, uh, like, his comments were divided into three ways. Uh, uh, one, one portion of the comments was all just... Um, it was all just people like bitching, why haven't you reviewed other games during the summer? The second part was bitching, why are you reviewing this game? And the third part was uh, review requests. And now every famous YouTube reviewer constantly gets uh, requests to review stuff. And that's just sort of the nature of the beast. And I just saw so many people tell Angry Joe, review The Last of Us, review The Last of Us, review The Last of Us. And I just ask myself, what the fuck is the point? Um, and that's kind of where I got the idea of this video. See, review requests are not a bad thing. But when you request to review something like Avatar The Last Airbender, or Watchmen, or The Last of Us, things that you know uh, the vast, vast majority of people really, really like and really think is awesome. There is no point for Jeremy Johns or Angry Joe to review these things, like, especially since it's been like two or three months since, uh, since these things have come out, maybe even years in the case of Avatar The Last Airbender. Unless these reviewers have something new and interesting to say or some kind of different opinion than everybody else on things like The Last of Us or Avatar The Last Airbender, there is absolutely no reason for them to do a couple of video reviews where they just say, this thing is amazing, because there is no point to it. I mean, we already have, like, like we already have thousands and thousands of people, you know, fans and stuff, and your know, regular Joes like you and me say how great these things are, and we already have, like, dozens if not hundreds of official reviewers who already have stated these, these things are amazing. And that's why I think that requesting reviews for things like Watchmen, The Dark Knight Returns, Avatar The Last Airbender, pretty much anything that's critically acclaimed, and maybe even something that's really despised by the vast majority of people, I really don't think there's any point to do reviews of that, because if the guy agrees with the majority and says this thing is like the greatest thing ever, just like everybody else thinks, or thinks that is the worst thing ever like everybody else, and if he doesn't have anything really interesting to add to that whole discussion and if he doesn't have like a different opinion on the matter then there is absolutely no point to do a review of it and that's why I don't get why you should you know tell guys like Angry Joe to review The Last of Us because if Angry Joe loved The Last of Us he there's no point for him to do a video review of it because you already have a hundred other video reviewers and ordinary reviewers who have already stated this thing is freaking amazing you should check it out and unless Angry Joe can add something new to that or say that he really didn't like the game as much as everybody else and then gave his reasons for that then there is no point to do a review of it. And the same goes for, you know, critically acclaimed things or critically despised things, you know, like Batman and Robin. And that's why um, I've been considering doing a video on Batman and Robin because I have a pretty much vastly different opinion on films like Batman and Robin or X-Men Origins Wolverine than the majority of people. And I think I can add something different, a different opinion to the discussion and stuff. And... Yeah, that's kind of the point of this video. I don't get why y y people constantly request famous reviewers to review things that are loved or hated by everyone, uh, especially if that reviewer doesn't have anything new or interesting to say about that thing. He really just shouldn't review it. And yeah, I know this is a short video, but I just... And I wasn't really angry, even though it kind of says rant here. But yeah, those are kind of my thoughts on this whole requesting reviews for things that are universally loved or universally despised. I think it's kind of pointless unless the guy can tell or say something different or has something interesting to add. And yeah, I've got nothing to say, so I'll see you guys later. Bye.